Welcome back to the channel and welcome to round two of me trying to record this video. I had a horrible sneezing fit just a second ago and had to restart. So let's take a look at September's polish pickup offerings. Uh, this is our wish list video. We're going to put everything that we want on our wish list, and then when it comes time to purchase, realize that we can't purchase everything and only get a few things. Uh, for this month, the theme is spooky haunted history. Uh, not my normal. Uh, uh, genre. I'm not really a horror or spooky fan, but I am a nail polish fan, so I think we'll be okay. Let's take a look. Let's start with 1422 Designs, Secret of Oak Island. Secrets of Oak Island. This is a purpley pink base packed full of iridescent flakes that shift from green, blue, purple, blue and purple metallic flakes, black flakes, and holographic flakes. Uh, oh, 100 are available. This is definitely a fun, flaky, glitter, flaky polish. This is not for me. Just not. I don't feel like I need another purple, flaky polish. I have several. Um, but this is kind of cool. I like this. Uh, what's the inspiration? Oh, oh, it's a TV series. Okay. Great. Let's take a look at the next one. Oh, adored colors, the faithful. Oh, it looks like it's after a castle. Neat. Yeah, it's inspired by the legend of Black Lady of Bo oh, Bojanus? Bojanus Castle. Um, it's considered to be one of the most beautiful castles in Europe. Um, okay, I would disagree with that. I've, I saw a lot of castles in Ireland that I think were gorgeous, but you know what? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? It's a black base with red, green, gold shimmer, reflective silver glitter, and it has a red, orange to white glow when it glows in the dark. It's, uh, oh, it's better if you charge this under UV LED light. And there will be a hundred of these available. You know, normally I'm not a reflective glitter kind of person, but this picture up in the top right is so pretty. Uh, this is not going to go on my wish list. Just, it's not doing it for me, but I do love the, uh, the glittery, the gl the reflective, uh, pictures. I normally don't. That's so strange. All right. Ooh, yes. Alchemy Lacquer's Oddities. They're getting me here. How do... Okay, let me scroll. Oddities is a dusty chartreuse jelly nail lacquer with a contrasting purple to red to orange shifting shimmer. 300 are available. This is gorgeous. I love green with purpley pink glow. This bottom left picture here is doing it for me. Yep. On the wish list. Next up is All Mixed Up Lacquers, The Walls Remember. This is inspired by the Lizzie Borden House, not familiar. A sheer gray base with a reflective glitter, black and white matte glitters in different shapes and sizes, and three different intense color shifting flakes. No cap on this one. This is really cool looking. It looks like this top left here might be, might have a matte finish, a matte top coat. I don't know if I care for that at all. Um, let's take a look at all that. That's a glitter bomb. That is a flaky glitter bomb. Looks good. Um, I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to put it on my wish list so that I can come back to it because it, it's intriguing, but I don't know. Next up is Anchor and Heart Lacquer, the Flying Dutchman. This is inspired by the infamous legend of the Flying Dutch, Dutchman, which is a ghost ship. Okay. Uh, it's a deep, deep, in, wait, a deep black and navy blue base with striking gold, green, teal, large particle shimmer, plus chunky lime, teal, iridescent flakes. Oh, and they recommend um, kind of letting the bottle sit upside down for like five to 10 minutes before you uh, polish so that all the big chunky flakes kind of mix up in there. Here's a really good comparison. You've got the glossy on the left and the matte on the right. This is actually more interesting than I thought when I, sometimes I take a look at these on my phone. Um, and when I get on here to my computer and I can see them in the big picture, um, it looks, they look more fun. I like this actually. I'm going to add it to the wish list. Surprise myself there. Ooh, Artist Nails Pluckley. It's inspired by allegedly the most haunted village in Britain. It's a green jelly base with golden green flakes, opaque in two to three coats. 250 are available. This is like St. Patrick's Day money green foil goodness. I do not need this, but I think this is 
beautiful. I'm going to skip this though. I will not be skipping this. I don't even care what the description says. I'm adding it. This is First Avenue by Atomic Polish. First Avenue is a deep purple polish with pigment that strongly shifts from purple to blue to green. No cap on this one. And this is inspired by, I guess, a haunted music venue in Minneapolis. This is a great multi-chrome. Uh, here's a really good shot. It just has all the elements that I love. Blue, purple, teal, shifty goodness. It's like shimmery without being too glittery. I really like that. All right. Next up is Baroness X, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. This is inspired by the Mirror Game. Um, it's a black to red multi-chrome with black and red reflective glitters and a sprinkle of black hollow glitter. Uh, 170 are available. This is interesting. Normally we get the kind of fluid art nail polishes from Baroness X, uh, but this time we're getting just a quote unquote normal nail polish. This is a good vampy color for, for Halloween, that sort of black and red black and red mix here. I love this, these pictures here where you can see all the different shifts. I, I don't think this is for me, but it's fun to look at. Beaurev, uh, Bent Neck Lady. It's inspired by the haunting of Hill House. Dusky dark blue base with violet red green shimmer, a fiery red orange magnetic and hollow flake, no cap. We, we love looking at a good magnetic, don't we? It doesn't seem like an overly strong magnetic, uh, kind of subtle, which is which is fine. I love all the little sparkles. I don't think I need this one. Um, no, no, not doing it for me. BKL, the Bees Knees Lacquer, the Woman in Black. This is um, inspired by this picture that she took here. Um, if you, I don't know if I can get it any bigger. If you look here in the bottom right, um, the maker took this picture and in her picture, there's this lady in black here in the window. So, uh, that's the inspiration. It's a sheer black sister polish to Dumacorn with the same green to aqua to blue shimmer. No cap. Okay. I like it. It's pretty. I do not see how it's a Dumacorn sister because it looks pretty opaque. And if you are familiar with Dumacorn, Dumacorn is a very sheer ethereal polish. I do like the shift here, the blue, uh, the sort of cyan, and then the green and the emerald. Really pretty shifts. I don't need this. Um, it's very pretty. I just, I, I have, it. I don't think it fills a void in my collection right now. So we'll say no to this one. Bluebird Lacquer here for the booze. It's inspired by Chessman Park in Denver, Colorado. This is a purple leaning gray chrome with green and pink sparkles that changes to an emerald large particle sparkle with a magenta gold shifting magnetic, creating a rainbow effect. No, uh, no um, cap on this one. This is a very cool magnetic combination. If you can see on the middle finger here, you can really see all the colors. You've got that like hot pink and this coral and blue and green. Really pretty. I wonder if we get an unmagnetized picture. Oh, here we go. Up in the top left is the unmagnetized version. It's still a very pretty um, polish. I will say no because magnetics just don't do it for me. Um, but if you do like magnetics, I think you got a pretty good, pretty good choice right here. By Dana Viana La, La Pisadera. Pisadera. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. A clear base with a gold to green aurora shimmer, matte red irregular glitters, and a blue glow in the dark effect. 400 are available. This is pretty funky. I like this. Uh, the glow in the dark is really cool. Sometimes the glow in the dark is just kind of eh, but I think... I think it glows nicely. Not for me though. If you can see it in its, you know, just normal daytime form, it's a little too yellow for me. Uh, we'll we'll try again next month. By Vanessa Molina, True History. This is inspired by the story of Hansel and Gretel. 450 are available. It's a neon green pigment, pigment, aurora blue pigment, iridescent flakes, and low reflective silver and holographic flakes. 
it is definitely chock full of goodies. I don't need it. I think I have enough flakies to last me two or three lifetimes. Um, and it doesn't strike me enough to, to add to my collection. I do love the bottle shot here though. That is a cool looking green though. That is really pretty. Cadillac or heads will roll. This is interesting. It's inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. I do know that one. It is a purple blue magenta multi-chrome magnetic in a sparkly Aurora base, which will shift from maroon to red to orange to yellow and green in extreme angles. 600 are available. Normally, I would say I don't like magnetics. However, I love this combo. The sort of like magenta and purple all in the same same bottle here. Let's look at this. This is my favorite set of pictures. I'm going to put this on my wish list because I think the color combo with the magnetic is so interesting. Next up is Cameo Colors Ghostly Guard. It's inspired by the ghostly guard in gray seen at the Napoleon House in New Orleans. A light gray with hollow sparkle packed full of blue indigo purple shifting shimmer and silver hollow micro flakes. 105 are available. This one is interesting. I don't like it here where it's more on the purple side. I like it here where it's more on that purple gray blue side. Um, so I think I would pass on this just because I would want it to always be on that purple gray blue side. And it obviously isn't at some point it's going to look like this purple. Um, but it's interesting other than that. I can already tell this is a no for me. This is Cattail Haunts, Hayrides, and Horsemen. Inspired by Spooky Town. I don't know what that is. This is a translucent white when it's warm to red orange when it's cold. Thermal polish with a pink, orange, and gold color shifting shimmer and color shifting flakes. It also has a beautiful orange red glow in the dark. Okay. 300 are available. This is a big no from, from me, although that's pretty cool. It looks like candy corn. Um, I don't care for the color combo. I mean, I don't wear orange really at all. So this is just a no because it's orange. And I just, I don't know. It's not doing it for me. So, nope. Ooh. Next up is Cleona Cosmetics, Jerome Grand Hotel. This is a haunted hotel in, Air, uh, yes, Arizona. Uh... I love how they describe it. As an optional magnetic, this polish appears burgundy at first glance to represent the awnings of the hotel. Let's see. Yes. See? Very, very nice. Um, 393 are available. That is a completely random number, but we'll see. I think this is very beautiful. This is very reminiscent of the Cadillac that we just looked at. It has that nice, like, purple magenta... Uh, color combo. I like how they described it as an optional magnetic. Really aren't all magnetic polishes. Like the, the magnetic part is optional. Um, this is actually going to go on my wish list. This might be the first Cleona uh, on my wish list and it might be the first Cleona purchase for me. We'll see. Color Spectrum Polish Lady in Waiting. This is inspired by the Honolulu International Airport. Uh, magenta with blurple flakes and pink purple auroras. $3 from each bottle sold will be donated to the Hawaii Community Foundation. Wonderful. It's 100, 115 are available. I will say no to this one because I have rotated out of my pink phase. Uh, so I'm wearing my pink polishes that I have and I love them. I'm actually wearing somewhat of a pink. It's a purpley pink today, but um, I just don't feel the need to buy anymore. So that's what I mean about rotating out. Uh, but it is very pretty. If you like, if if you're in the market for another magenta, hot pink kind of color, very pretty color. Caloris de Carol, I knew it. It's inspired by aliens. It's green when warm to orange when cold thermal polish with a pastel aurora shimmer, fairy flakes, and multi-dimensional magnetic effect. Ooh, so we've got a thermal and a magnetic and there will be 300 available okay so we can see the thermal here in the bottle shot on the left um let's see if we can get a good picture of the magnetic um i think it's a little bit more difficult to see the magnetic 
this is probably the best way you can see it up here on the left you're getting these slashes across the nails i think that's the best way to pick up the magnetic i think this is a great color for fall um but it is a little too much on the orangey side for me it's like that yellowy green with orange so i just don't think it would look good on my skin um, but i love the magnetic plus thermal combo crystal knockout where birds never sing it's inspired by the Colloden Moors. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. It's an apple to dark forest green thermal that glows aqua in the dark with matte glitters in aqua, light blue, and black, iridescent color shifting flakes in copper, pink, gold, and green. No cap on this one. Really cool thermal. Here is the shot on the left hand side. This is the cold state, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think this is the cold state, the darker green. And then you can see as you get warmer and warmer, you get towards that light, like um, yellowy green on the right. I will say no, just because I don't need another thermal right now. Although I love this. It does look pretty chunky with the glitter. So I think you will need a glitter, glitter smoothing top coat. But that's just my opinion. Ooh, Cupcake Polish Mothman. It's inspired by Mothman of West Virginia. It's filled with silver, red, and black flakies and a hint of holographic sparkle. This is really cool. I think it's very beautiful. I'm not going to put it on my wish list just because I have, you know, a, enough of this kind of a polish. It does look textured. So again, a glitter or smoothing top coat would be appropriate in my opinion. But I think this is great for not only like the Halloween time, but I think this is great for like Christmas holiday time with that nice like foily silver and red. Up now, ooh, cuticula, sleepy hollow, sleepy hollow as in holographic. It's inspired by the Headless Horseman. It's a black jelly base with orange gold shifting glass flakes, black gold and red shifting chrome flakes and silver holographic flakes. No cap on this one. This is interesting because I know it said it's a black jelly base, but to me it has a really pretty like deep, deep chocolatey brown uh, look to it. This is gorgeous. This is going on my wish list. It just, it feels like an ooey gooey chocolate cake or like an ooey gooey piece of chocolate candy that you're going to get when you go trick or treating. Dandy Digits Lacquer Fear Frequency. Uh, Fear Frequency is a black base with blue to purple shimmer and vibrant, vibrant red reflective glitters. 150 are available. I think sometimes it's really hard to see the base that they describe. Like I would not say, I, I wouldn't just look at this and go, yeah, black base. Um, it's, you know, I can see the blue easily. This is very cool, but I have enough. Well, I don't know. This is very cool, but I, I don't know if I really need it. Um, I do like the cobalt um aspect to it this is a really cool picture with the red the red reflective showing through i'm gonna say no though i don't think it's i don't think it's me dom nail polish traumatic static it's inspired by the haunted tv set uh silver reflective with teal purple gold green shifting shimmer assorted white glitters and black flakes 400 are available the, I have not seen poltergeist which i believe that's where this haunted tv screen is coming from but i I'm very familiar with the reference and even Family Guy did did this. So, um, you know, when the your TV goes out and you just have like the, the black and white static on the TV, I think she did a wonderful job capturing that look. Even here in the reflective state, it looks exactly like the, the black and white static. This is really cool. Normally, again, not a reflective glitter kind of gal, but... I don't know. I think maybe because I understand the inspiration behind this one, it's more impressive. So I'm going to add it to my wish list. Dangle foot nail polish, hair raising. <sighs> I like this. Inspired by something I think haunts us all, our past hair mistakes. Yes, I have several. A raspberry jelly with strong green, blue, purple shimmer. 200 are available. I'm going to say no to this one simply because I don't like it in its more raspberry state. I like it in this almost red state. Um, 
and I have a feeling it would pull more to the raspberry side on me. But this, this kind of almost blood red with the green gold shimmer, that I really like. Dark and Twisted Lacquer brings us Witch's Bonfire. Um, it's a dark and teal polish with Aurora Coppery Orange Microflakes and Micro Shreds. A hundred are available. I like this sort of like dusty navy blue, if that makes any sense. Here it is matte. It really looks dusty when it's matte. Um, I don't think this is my type of blue. It doesn't have enough purple in it. I think I think I like the more purpley blue effect, um, but I like the amount of flakies and glitter that's in here. It's like almost a hint. It's not too. It, I think the amount of flakies really complements the color. If that makes any sense. Devine lacquer. Oh, I don't think we've seen Devine lacquer too often. I think it's definitely not a new brand to PPU, but I think it's just kind of they don't do it very often. And it, this is inspired by the Winchester House. Uh, Belle of New Haven, I'm sorry, I didn't say the name. So Belle of New Haven has a white base with pink undertone and pink gold green shifting Aurora shimmer. Um, so, oh, this polish may stain your nails pink due to the highly pigmented ingredients. Uh, recommend using a good base coat. 220 are available. This is great. This is one of those, you know, ghostly nail polishes perfect for this uh, theme. I am going to say no to this one only because I just got from Devine Lacquer. I believe the name is 1967 and it's very similar to this specific color. So I will say no. Do Nail Polish, Poisoned Apple. Oh, good name. It's inspired by the Wicked Queen that excuse me, Poison Snow White, Deep Red with Chameleon Flakes, and a Silver Magnetic Pole. 150 are available. Okay, this Magnetic Pole is almost non-existent to me. I, it's very difficult to see the Magnetic Pole. If you look right here, you can see a little bit of it. I would not call this a Silver Pole. The Magnetic Pole is not doing it for me, which is fine. I don't really enjoy the Magnetic, but then I'm only left with the, the color and two or three of these colors, that's all I need. So I will say no to this one. DRK Nails Blue. It's inspired by Fordlandia. A dark blue, light blue thermal mixed with Aurora Candy Flakes in red, bronze, gold, and green. 150 available. This is very cool. Um, Here's a good shot of the thermal. So the cold state is the darker blue up at the tip of the nail and the warm state is the lighter blue uh, towards the, the bed, uh, not the bed, but the cuticle of the nail. I really enjoy the color, uh, but I just don't need a thermal flaky balm right now. Pretty color though. Ooh, Ember Nail Lacquer, The House. It's inspired by Amityville. It's a light teal green with lots of tiny, tiny color shifting flakes of glitter to set it off a spectacular silver hollow magnetic. Uh, oh yes, there is a cap, 100. Okay, so I did see this and here's my opinion. I mean, I'm gonna give you my opinion with, you know. I really like this shot where all the flakies appear above the magnetic line. And I really like this shot Here's the problem. Those are micro macro shots. You know, when you get into regular shots, you see this, you know, where you see this, I don't like it as much. Here you see, so you're, it, it's great in the macro form for me. It's just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not looking through a macro lens all the time. So I will say no to this one. Emily Damali Beneath the Surface. It's inspired by a scary image of a house. It's a khaki green base with a strong blue shimmer. 640 will be available. This is very cool looking. I really like this. It reminds me a lot of um, Tranquility by Cadillacer. That came out in their summer uh, release. That one is much, much brighter. It's, it's like a neon green with the teal shimmer. This is sort of the fall autumn version of that with that sort of olivey green. Um, 
if I didn't already have the Cadillacer, I would get this one. Um, but since I do have that sort of green base with the teal shimmer, I don't feel like I need another one. So I will say no to this one. Yes, yes. Add to wish list, then we'll read it. Okay. Ethereal is bringing us little spirits. Oh, that is a creepy cat picture right there. Um, it's inspired by the pet cemetery in her childhood home of Lilydale, New York. It's a sheer brown toned purple base with green to blue, green to blue, large particle shimmer. No cap on this one. Yes. Oops. I don't need notes. I don't know why I clicked on that. Sorry. Technical difficulty. I love this picture right here. You can really get the sparkle showing. Look at the, the gorgeous, to me, it's like a brown red base almost, or like a brown plum, maybe. I love this. It's intentionally sheer. I think what I um, would want to do would be to kind of trade off and wear like a um, couple of different color bases underneath, um, or even just wearing it sheer because I do love sheer polishes. I love this, this sort of brown red base is really doing it for me so that's on my wish list femme, femme fatale sucks to be you i love that name it's inspired by classic vampire folk tales great it's a berry magenta base with strong red shimmer that shifts to copper and gold and it's packed with a lustrous amount of antique green reflective glitter uh 300 are going to be available this is really cool looking. In fact, this top left picture really makes me think of the holiday season. Um, I do like this one, but I don't wear red often enough to buy another red. This is really cool. They've split the picture right here. The bottom half is what you will see in just regular lighting. And then the top half of the nail is the reflective um, picture. So very interesting, very cool. If you like red and you like reflective, I think you'll do well with this. It is gonna to be tough to get off. So if you do have a peel off base coat, that might be something you wear. Let's move on to Garden Path Lacquers and Aura of Foreboding. It's inspired by a famous haunted mansion during a Halloween party. Um, I'm, I don't know, I don't know. It's a blurple curly base packed with large red pink iridescent glass flakes and aura, shim aura shimmer and sparkling holographic micro flakes. No cap that we know of yet. This is a very cool uh, color combo. I love this uh, color combo. I have a lot of this color combo, so it's not going to go on my wish list, but I want you to see different angles of it because this is super pretty. And look, it has just a few of these large, chunky flakies. Super pretty. Glisten and Glow, NJ, oh, New Jersey Pine Barrens. Um, this is, the New Jersey Pine Barrens are rumored to be the home of the Jersey Devil. Okay. Black jelly polish loaded with color shifting shimmers that shift from emerald green to olive green, golden, copper, and blue at extreme angles. No cap on this one. This is gorgeous. I love these top two pictures where we get more of the black coming through. I love, I don't love it enough to pick it up, but it is gorgeous. And even though it pulls really on this left-hand side, pulls really olive, I think it would still be something that would look good on me. Well, then maybe I do need to put it on my wish list. Here it is. Oh, I don't care for it matte at all. There's top right. No, I don't care for it matte. I would never wear it like that. I like it when you can really see the, the sparkle effect. These pictures in this lighting, you're not really getting, you're getting mostly black, which I don't care for. Mm. I'll say no, but I may come back and revisit that one. Graceful nail polish brings us ghost ship. Uh, a trithermal moving from a dusty pink to a dirty purple to a navy purple at its coldest, covered in ghoulish green flash of shimmer and packed with ultra chrome chameleon flakes in navy green, purple, and pink. 180 are available. I don't think I've ever heard dirty purple used as a color reference. This picture right here is super gorgeous. The 
the um, transition right here, this is what I would like a thermal to look like on me at all times. <laughs> I think it is a, I think this is really, really pretty. I think it's terrible matte. It looks so blah matte. But you don't have to wear a matte top coat. So that's, you know, the great thing about, <laughs> about it. This is really cool. I think I'm going to add it to my wish list. Wish list is growing. Some promises. Bring, uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Not bring. Grim Gritting Ghosts. Okay. Black scattered hollow base with purple shimmering sparks, purple metallic flakies, green hollow glitters, and green gold UCC flakes. 300 are available. Really cool if you are in the market for a black glittery polish. I am not. I have two that I uh, just recently got in mystery boxes. So I am full up on black glitters. So I will say no to this one. Oh, normally I don't um, take a look at these, but I thought this was a pretty color to mention. This is a stamping polish from Hit the Bottle. Um, so it's this red stamping color. Uh, there are 250 available. I have never tried Hit the Bottle, but they put out some really interesting um, stamping polish colors. I, mean, I wonder if these plates are theirs as well. Very cool. So if you if you are a stamping polish kind of gal or or guy or whatever, here you go. Indie by Patty Lopez, Cursed Doll. It's inspired by the Annabelle poster. I don't know who Annabelle is. My apologies. Pale purple jelly base with red, gold, green, aurora shimmer, blue, purple, iridescent flakies, and green reflective glitter. 300 are available. I'm saying no to this one because it is not hitting me enough to overpower the reflective glitter. Although this picture is super fun. Let's keep moving to Jen and Barry's Hell Hath No Fury. Love the name. It's inspired by Emily's Bridge. It's a charcoal base with bronze and emerald green metallic flakes and orange gold green shifting crystal flakies. 300 are available. This is really cool. I love the different color flakies in here. I love when it looks like just foil that's kind of trapped underneath the, the top coat. That's, that's really fun. Um, I don't know. It, it's not jumping out at me. I think it's pretty, it's just not jumping at me. So I will say no. Gior Couture, I always have problems saying that name. Flesh Pedestrian. This was actually, um, it had a different name in the beginning. So if you're wondering, it was a different name. And um, apparently that name, uh, I didn't know, but I saw this on Facebook. Apparently that name was um, something that was kind of derogatory or offensive. Um, towards the Native American community. So the maker, um, when she was made aware of it, she put out an apology and renamed the polish, which I think is wonderful. Um, so hopefully anyone who was offended will appreciate her, her change that she made here. Uh, but it's Thou Flesh Pedestrian. It's an aqua green blue multi-chrome with a green gold magnetic pull. Uh, there is no cap. Um, it's, it's not doing anything for me. seems like it has a pretty decent magnetic pull. This is a really good shot. I, it just doesn't do anything for me, so I will skip it, but, um, it's an interesting combo. I don't think we see a lot of magnetic combos like that. Oh, Kathleen Co. Haunted AF. It's inspired by New Orleans, which is kind of a haunted city in itself, yes. It's a blackened violet base with a heavy dose of glowy blue shimmer that is super shifty and ends up a bright fuchsia at extreme angles. No cap on this one, thank goodness. This is this is just a slam dunk. Now, here it is matte. It's very pretty matte, but this, glossy, here's another angle of it. If you don't wear it glossy, you're crazy pants. I love this. This is add to wish list. This is one of those polishes where I think your top coat really does matter. So if you have a really good gel-like top coat, 
you'll definitely want to wear it in this. And here is a really nice gradient of um, the angles, the colors. Yeah, love it. KB Shimmer, Take the Stairs, another black glitter bomb. Very cool. It's inspired by a haunted hotel ride. It is a deep black jelly nail polish. Bold near neon lights are reflected in an array of color shifting flakes. No um, cap. Um, this is very cool. I don't need a black glitter. We, we talked about that already. Um, however, if I was going to purchase a black glitter bomb, I would purchase this one over the previous one that we looked at. Um, this one does look matte, and I I love that. I think it brings out a really cool velvety quality to it, but it's all, it's like glorious when it's glossy. So no for me, but if you're in the market, what is this? Crystal Designs. If you got it, haunt it. That is cute. It's inspired by the ghosts of Casaloma. Casaloma. It's a deep purple base with yellow, green, blue shifting magnetic, pink and green shimmer, and magenta reflective glitter. 250 are available. I love the color combo of like the magenta and the green. No for me. I don't need a magnetic and I don't need reflective glitter. I like this, this version of it where, oh, here it is. Yep. This is really nice with the, ma the magnetic pull is green and then kind of cyan blue. It's really interesting. I love that you can use different magnetic shapes and get totally different results. Leisha's Lacquer, Mishipishu? Mishipi I don't know how to say that. <laughs> um, I apologize. It's a gorgeous bright blue base, multi-chrome with a red to gold shift as well as similar shifting flakies and turquoise shifty flakies. 150 are available. This really doesn't do anything for me. It's not jumping out at me at all. So we'll see now. This is Lemming Lacquer Blucifer. Excellent name. Uh, a chromatic ode to the secrets veiled within shadows. It's a medium blue jelly kissed by micro flakes that traverse from the abyss. Okay, too much. 200 are available, too much with the uh, description. It's interesting. I like this for this angle of it, where it's more of like the blood red. I really like that. I don't like this at all. I like this. I will think about it and come back to it. Lily pad lacquer, haunted forever. This is a cool color. It's fuchsia jelly base filled with assorted flakies. 120 are available. This is a really nice blood red color. I think this is a great Halloween color, but also for the fall winter months. I don't think I need it. So I'm not gonna put it on my wish list, but these are really cool with the flakes sort of, I love jelly flaky polishes because the flakes are like floating in jelly. Lucky 13 Lacquer Mystery Machine. Isn't that what they called Scooby-Doo's van? Yes, inspired by Scooby-Doo. That's funny. Vibrant aqua base with magenta, copper, gold, lime green, color shifting shimmer and crystal flakies and it glows in the dark. 125 are available. I love that it actually glows in the dark kind of like the same color that it is in the um, regular light. I think we don't see that very often. We see different glow. Um, so I like that about it. I do really like this sort of aqua and gold combination. I'm kind of shifting towards liking gold. Normally gold would be like a hard no, but I got a mystery polish from Lumen called, oh gosh, gilded sun and it was ju it just it was so gorgeous i think i may be a gold fan now but i have a polish from the brand polish p-a-h-l-i-s-h that looks almost like this so i don't need this oh lumen haunted melody lumen always gets me i don't know i feel like they're in my brain and making things that I love. Um, it's inspired by a cemetery. 
It's a cool blue with a strong gold chartreuse to blue-green shift. Each angle will reveal a unique sparkle with a different shift. Um, Semi-opaque with three thin coats. No cap. I think they win the inspiration award. Like, this picture up in the top left is like a twin of their inspiration picture. So I think they did well pulling from their inspiration I actually really do like this. The only reason I hesitate is because I have learned that although I love Lumen, almost everything I try is very sheer. So you do have to load it up at, at three or four coats in my case, or put um, some sort of base underneath it. So I hesitate. I'm going to add it to my wish list anyway, because I feel like if Lumen is not on my wish list, is my life complete? Probably not. Um, but I like every angle of this. It's gorgeous here. I love this. I love the brighter turquoise. This might be the only um, angle I don't care for. But they did a fabulous job with their inspiration. Ooh, this is a really cool combo. Luna Lab Creations Ghost Train. It's a green, turquoise, blue, and purple shifting shimmer embraced by purple, pink, peach shifting magnetic. 125 are available. I don't need another magnetic, but this is such a cool combination. I love the green and purple um, for a magnetic, and I, I just think they did such a great job. Not for me, though. Lynn B. Designs never gives, <laughs> never gives up her debt. It's inspired by Lake Superior and the Shipwrecks. It's a deep cerulean blue. Cerulean, is that how you say it? Deep cerulean blue base with green to blue to purple shifting shimmer and scattered hollow flakes. No cap on this one. The only reason I am going to say no to this one is because it reminds me a lot of Hollow Tacos Never Tied Down from their vacation series and Wildflower Lacquer Foxfire, which I bought last month through PPU. So those two kind of fill this void. So this one would not fill any void in my collection for me. However, if you don't have either one of those, this is a good option. MJ Lacquer, we've been waiting for you. It's inspired by, um, oh, Galveston, I'm in Texas. So it's inspired by the historical ghost tours of Galveston, Texas. I've never been to Galveston. It's a purple to smoky green thermal. So a generous mix of red to green to orange multi-chrome flakes and pink iridescent flakes highlighted with a purple, orange, gold, green aurora shimmer creating a golden smoky green appearance in the warm state. I like this shift here from the sort of magenta to green, but I won't use this before the thermal dies. So we'll say no. Ooh, that's bright. Monarch Lacquer, Eerie Embers. Um, this pays homage to the historical significance of the Salem Witch Trials. It's a fiery, yes, shifting flakes and black glitter. Um, and it's in an orange jelly base. Two to three coats for opacity. No cap on this one. This looks like fire. I mean, it is just... it. This is so gorgeous. And if I wore orange, I would totally get this. But I just don't think I would like this on my hands. But oh man, this looks just, I mean, it looks like a fire. They did such a nice job pulling from their inspiration. They might win their award uh, for closest to the inspiration. Lumen, you might have to be second place. Gorgeous. I wish I liked orange. Moo Moo's Signatures brings us Secret in the House. It's inspired by Haunted Mansion Wallpaper. Shimmery Shifty Chameleon Polish in a Dark Jelly Base. 200 are available. This really does nothing for me. It just doesn't grab me at all. Sorry. It looks like it's a good formula, though. Moonshine Manny, I See Dead People. It's cute. It's inspired by Sixth Sense. And we all know it's, well, we don't all know, but anyone who has seen the movie knows that the line is actually, I see dead people. And this is, I see dead people. And it's a great thermal, it looks like, shifting bruised berry to ghostly gray, glowing with aqua blue violet shimmer. 
200 are available. This is a really good looking thermal. I like both states. Uh, see, I think thermals look so much better on longer nails because you can get both states on your nails at once. This is really actually really pretty. I'm going to put it on my wish list. That kind of surprised me. MTK Design, Raiden Wildfire. It's inspired by Michael Martin Murphy. I'm, I don't know that um, reference. <sighs> HD Magnetic of Shifting Fire Colors of Gold Copper Ruby in a Smoky Gray Curly Accented with Various Gold Copper Violet Shifting Aurora Shimmer Sparkles Micro Flakies and Iridescent Flakes. No, no, just, just, no, just not doing it. Oh, another orange. Sorry, Music City Beauty, the Stanley. It looks beautiful, but I'll say no to this one. It's inspired by the Stanley Hotel. A vibrant red base with aurora shifting through red, orange, and green, and silver holographic flakies. A hundred are available. This is really pretty, um, and I do like how vibrant it is, and this is a great uh, angle of it as well, but it is not for my skin tone. It's beautiful though. Oh, interesting. Oh, they put more pictures up. So I think yesterday when I checked, they still only had two pictures. Um, this is Nail Artisan Cosmetics Graveyard Ghoul. Uh, it's inspired by George Mackenzie the Ghost. It's a pale periwinkle base with ghoulish green shimmer bright enough to wake the dead. You know what they say. If you've got it, haunt it. Wow, 1,200 are available. That's some cap. Okay, so I believe I saw on Facebook that this is a sister polish to um, something they put out a couple of months ago, Orion. And it was the same kind of polish, except instead of having this green shimmer effect, it had like a bright blue shimmer effect. Um, it's quite interesting. I think it, in most of these pictures, it gives me Kathleen Nail, Kathleen & Co. Uh, fun dip vibes, so I don't need it. Um, but it's, you know, if you don't have a thousand and one aqua polishes like I do, then go for it. And I don't actually have a thousand and one, just a lot. Nailed it, Goddess of Fire. Yes, they did a great job with the fire inspiration. A red base with red gold UCC flakies, copper gray crystal flakies, and a red and black metallic flake. 300 are available. This is so beautiful. Um, just too orange for me, but this is something that would transition easily from like a Halloween nail polish to a fall to a winter polish. So I think this is gorgeous. And actually, this could be a summer polish too. It's so bright. Um, yeah, really pretty. I, I really like this. I, I really am tempted to put it on my wish list, but then I know if I get it, I'll, I'll put it on my hand and I will just see orange clashing with my skin. And I don't really know why, because I mean, my skin tone is very similar to a lot of these. It must just, it's my personal preference, I guess. Nails by Virgo Moon, The Legend 97. It's a song by Steve Cook. Okay. Pearlescent orange base with a variety of black matte glitters and orange hollow glitters. It works well as a topper as well over warm tone polish. Oh, interesting. 100 are available. This is not as interesting as the previous orange that we just looked at. Um, so I'm going to say no, because if I didn't say yes to that one, I'm not going to say yes to this one. Night Owl Lacquer Haunted Forest. This is a really cool looking hollow. It's inspired by thick, dark, mossy haunted forests in Washington. It's a linear holographic multichrome that shifts blackened olive, green, red, and orange. No cap on this one. I am not into hollow as much as I used to be, so I will say no to this one. But if you do like hollow, I think a nice, like, forest olivey green hollow is a good addition to any, uh, any collection. Let's see. Noodles Nail Polish, Bewitching Bridget. That's a cool name, too. I like it. 
uh, Bridget Bishop, that's the inspiration. Oh, but part of the Salem Witch Trials. It's a navy crelly with gold, copper, green, shifting flakes, green, orange, iridescent glitter, copper, hollow glitters, and metallic caramel glitters. Ooh, I like that description. Oh, it does say it dries textured, so you will probably need a glitter smoothie top coat or two coats of like a really nice thick glossy top coat. Uh, 300 are available. I will say no to this one. I have a couple of dark, dark navy slash black glitters, so I don't feel like I need this. Oh, this is a lot like that Devine nail polish that we saw earlier. This is Calling the Spirits by Polish. Inspired by seances and the Victorian spiritualist movement, it's a pale spectral lavender packed with intense pink copper green shifting shimmer. No cap on this one. This is very pretty. And again, I just bought that polish from Devine. I, I really do think the name is 1967, if I remember it correctly. So this is very similar. I don't, I don't need it, but um, really cool ghostly pale polish. Oh my. Paint it pretty polish. One foot in the ground is getting added to my wish list before we even read about it. It's inspired by graveyards. I don't understand that inspiration at all, but I don't care. It's gorgeous. A beep. That has to be a typo right here. A deep purple base. That must mean a deep purple base with a broad shimmer and hollow micro flakes. Uh, 200 are available. Wow. This is insanely gorgeous. Look at the glow. Let's, this has a, some of those micro flakes that I always say that I can't stand because it looks like death's got in your manicure, but I'm trying hard to branch out and try things that I normally don't like um, because my tastes do change and I'm, I'm trying new things. And the color on this is so spectacular, except Matt, I don't care for it, Matt, at all. I love this. Yeah, that's definitely on the wish list. Ooh, neat. Pampered Polishes Hitchhiking Ghosts. It's inspired by a haunted mansion. It's a brighter green jelly base with a bold green shimmer and an assortment of mint colored glitter. No cap as, as of right now. This is a really cool green. I will say no. Um, I just don't feel like I need it. And also there's only one picture to go by. So I, I need more angles before I, I say yes. So right now it's a no. Paradox Polish Amityville House, which is inspired by the Amityville Horror House. It's a neon orange with the iridescent flake, black flake with a silver magnetic. No cap so far. I do like the magnetic look that goes along with this polish. It actually kind of reminds me of like a tiger. Is that weird? I think that's kind of weird. Um, I will say no because it's an orange, but I think it's a really cool looking orange, especially with the magnetic uh, effect. Penelope Loose Ghost Bride. It's inspired by a ghost bride full of butterflies leading her. I don't know. I don't know what the inspiration is. However, it's a silver holographic with blue, purple, aurora shimmer. Um, 700 are available. And this honestly reminds me of the TV static, <laughs> the other the other inspiration. It's really interesting and pretty, um, but I would rather have the Dom nail polish TV static one. So I will say no to this one. Oh, cool. Phoenix, together until the end. This is inspired by the neon lettering from Bates Motel. Uh, ghostly glowy polish packed with turquoise, cyan, purple, pink, shifting shimmer. 500 are available. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is my kind of nail polish for sure. I love this sort of glowy, ethereal, ghostly, all of the above. Purple, cyan, turquoise, any of that. I love it. I'm going to put it on my wish list and we'll see if it makes it to the cart. Pinnacle polish. I don't think we see them quote too often, do we? I don't know. Stairs to nowhere. It's inspired by the Winchester Mystery House. It's a blackened brown jelly base full of glowy red, orange, aurora shimmer that shifts gold to green at extreme angles. 100 are available. And this is a really pretty brown. 
it's like a metallic coppery brown, which I have plenty of those, but if you do not have plenty of those, this looks beautiful. Next. Oh, like really? I mean, if they just want to take my money. Polish for days, goblins and ghoulies, adding it to the wish list. It's inspired by Madame Leota from the Haunted Mansion. It's a deep mulberry purple base with an intensely glowing blue purple shimmer. No cap, thank goodness. This is fabulous. Anything that has a glow like that, I'm a sucker for. This is just beautiful. Look at it in sunshine right there. Look at this. You don't see it matte because I would never wear this polish matte and I think people would agree with me. This is gorgeous. It's That's on the wish list for sure. Psych Minerals Cuba Road Lore. It's inspired by the sightings of ghostly figures and orbs in the White Cemetery in Lake County, Illinois. A linear hollow base with silver reflective glitter and a smattering of ghostly green blue iridescent flakes. Only 150 are available. Again, this is kind of like the uh, TV static inspiration. I like this quite a bit. I think the difference is it's it's not just a linear hollow. It's got some flakies in it too. I know it has reflective glitter. But, I, you know, I got to branch out, try new things. You know what I really like is up here, the, the pictures up at the top, you can see just those flash of the flakies. This is really interesting to me. I'm going to put it on the wish list. I've never tried Psych Minerals. Red-Eyed Lacquer, the Blair Witch. Is it a, oh yeah, okay. It's a polish. They just also have a picture of their nail oil or cuticle oil. It's inspired by Mall Dyer who inspired the Blair Witch. It's a grade lavender crelly with pink purple shifting flakes and black flakes. 200 are available. I saw the Blair Witch when it came out and it made me so nauseous. The camera work, no thank you. This is fun for sure. I don't think I need it, but this is definitely fun for sure. I love all the black flakies, black shreds in here. Really pretty. Restored by Polish Mysterious Waters. This is inspired by the Bermuda Triangle. That's really cool. Indigo base with lavender flakes and a strong teal aurora shimmer that shifts just like the changing tides. Only 100 are available. This is really pretty, and I'm going to say no, but the, but the reason I'm saying no is because um, last, was it last month in Polish Pickup, Lumen put out something called Space Cloud that was very, very similar. So I bought that one. Um, so I don't need this one. Rogue Lacquer brings us Ghost Town, another flaky balm. Not balm, balm. Living in Arizona, it only seemed fitting to have ghost towns as our theme. Uh, let's see. It's a light gray toned white crelly with black metallic flakes and orange copper gold green ultra chrome flakies. No cap on this one. I will say no to this one because actually if I was going to get a crelly with the black shreds in it, I would go back and put the red eyed lacquer one on my list because I think that had that like pinky purpley tone base instead of just the white base. So no to this one. Saki Cosmetics Gourd Vibes Only. I love that. It's inspired by following. Gourd Vibes Only is a bright orange with gold to pink shimmer. 100 are available. This is an interesting orange color for someone else. Not for me. I will say no to this one, but it does make me want a popsicle like super bad. Sassy Cat's Lacquer Endless Hall. It's inspired by the Haunted Mansion movie. A smoky navy base with Purple sparkly fine glitter plus purple glowy shimmer. Uh, 100 are available. I will say no to this. It doesn't do anything for me. Um, it's not. It's not pulling at me. Although I do like sassy cats. I have quite a few of theirs. Ooh, sassy sauce polish. Let me ask you a question. It's inspired by Lizzie Borden. Smoky indigo base with a strong golden green glow. Jade hollow glitter pigment and scattered hollow. 500 are available. This is going on my wish list. 
because it's like it's got purple and blue and flakies and it's different at every angle which I love yep Sizzlin Shades Nail Lacquer Lady of the Lake I don't recall this brand um it's in oh okay it's inspired by the lady of the lake from white rock lake in texas i am not too far from this area lady of the lake is a blue base with blue purple teal shifting flakies silver hollow glitter and teal blue purple shifting shimmer 100 are available i didn't know we had a lady of the lake in the white rock lake this is gorgeous however this is a really good dupe for the hollow taco never tied down which I have so I will say no just because I have a full bottle of that plus the wildflower foxfire from last month um so I'm chock full of this type of polish however if you don't have those two polishes and you wanted them and cannot get them now you should go with this Sovereign Beauty, you'll have a grand, a grand time. Okay, so I know there is no picture, and they have not had a picture since the site came up, but I wanted to mention that they had a polish this month. It's going to be a dark teal with tons of red shimmer. Only 150 will be available. I am anxiously awaiting a picture because I like the sound of dark teal with red shimmer. And in case you don't know, Sovereign Beauty is the rebranded... Um, native war paints so if you're a fan of native war paints they are now sovereign beauty um, so hopefully they'll get a picture up before uh, september 1st when the shop opens starlight and sparkles um starlight polish berg frankenstein that's a mouthful it's inspired by the frankenstein castle in germany it's a soft earthy red brown with brick red and dark gray flicks translucent microflakes that shine white gold and red meant to resemble the sandstone that was likely used for at least a part of the castle's original construction 250 are available what an interesting take on the uh inspiration really pretty here i like that rosy brown color i don't need it i have a ton of rosy brown shades but i really enjoy a, a good rosy brown Ooh, that is vampire. Uh, Sweet and Sour Lacquer, the Saw is family. It's inspired by the Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Cherry red jelly with black flakies and blue iridescent flakes. 500 are available. Gorgeous. Love it. Add to wish list. Period. Sweetheart Polish it brings us Black Diamond Mines. Um, they are inspired by the Black Diamond Mines um, from San Francisco. It's a juicy black jelly with green to gold to copper aurora shimmer and matching hollow glitters in various sizes. 150 are available. I, I don't like this one. I don't know why. I cannot tell you why I don't like it, but I don't like it. Like, I cannot pinpoint. I can't say, oh, I don't like the glitters or, oh, I don't like the color. I don't know why I don't like it. It's just I don't. Okay, top coat. So this is the Limitless top coat by Cuticula. Last month they had the unscented version and I did buy that and I have used it. No, I have not used it yet. Um, but they offer lots of scented versions of their uh, top coat. And so this one is pineapple, honeydew, and sweet raspberry. And I thought that sounded delicious. Oh wait, creamy vanilla with notes of juicy pineapple, honeydew, and sweet raspberry. Sounds delicious. I want to try a scented version of this to see if it can mask any of the like more of the polishes that have like a really strong odor. So I think I'm going to get this because I do want to try the scented version. And that just, this scent sounds so good. Okay. Here is the Glitter Grabber by Glisten and Glow. I mention this in almost every video. I use Glitter Grabber as like a generic name, but this is the Glitter Grabber from Glisten and Glow. It is a glitter smoothing top coat. If you have any kind of textured nail polish, you put a coat of this on and it is smooth, like totally completely smooth. And then you just put like your really glossy top coat on top of it. But look, I mean, it'll smooth out these chunky, chunky stars. Um, this is not the greatest 
example because I think you can really still see how chunky these stars are. But the it smooths out any polish. Look at this. You can really see the texture on the bottom left. And here you go. When it, when the glitter grabber is dry, smooth. I love this product. Um, I I fully recommend it. So I wanted you to see it. And then um, Night Owl Lacquer is also offering their glow in the dark top coat. I, I've never tried it, but I thought it was really cool to look at. So let's go back to our color uh, polishes. This is TSS Nails, the Blue Lady. Um, it's inspired by a death at Sealbach Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, it's a blue polish that glows with ethereal light, featuring our signature shimmer with a little extra kick. Only 100 are available. I, I don't see the extra kick of their signature shimmer, but then again, I don't know anything about TSS nails. This is just kind of a blue metallic polish to me and I don't need that. So no for me. Vapid Demon's Road, I'm assuming it's, oh yeah, Demon's Road. It's in um, rural Texas. It's a deep and dusty midnight blue with a strong shimmer. The glow of red, pink, copper, green is haunting and easy to shift. 320 are available. This is super pretty. Um, I just don't think, I think of all the ones I put on my wish list already, so many of those appeal to me more. So I will say no to this one. Let's take a look at What Addiction, The Abyss. This is a cool green. It's inspired by the haunting tales of the Titanic. Yes. This picture especially looks like the Titanic as it is now under the water. It's a deep teal filled with green, filled with green gold, red shimmer, um, and red, gold, and copper flakes. A hundred are available. It's a no for me. I don't need it, but I can totally see the inspiration through this nail polish. Very pretty. Watcha brings us Cecil, and that is inspired by the Cecil Hotel. It's a holographic blue with pink shimmer. 300 are available. This looks a lot like Glisten and Glow's Ode to Overalls, which I own already, so I will say no to this one. But if you don't own that one and you really enjoy like a denim blue, to me this is like a denim blue with a pink shimmer, I think this is a good option. Wildflower Lacquer, Lady of the House. It's inspired by the Overholzer Mansion, and it was considered one of Oklahoma City's first mansions built in 1903. A smoky plum base with pink to orange to gold to almost green shifting shimmer. No cap on this one. I don't care for this color. I don't think I would wear it very often. It's pretty on all of these hands, though. I mean, it's here are shorter nails, and I think it's pretty. And here are some longer nails, and it's really pretty. But I don't feel like I would wear this color that often. And finally, we round up things with Zombie Claw, Infected Forest. It is inspired by a haunting picture of a forest. It's a gray base with red-black pigment, red-gold shimmer, and red-black flakies. 200 are available. I do like the way the glossy top coat really brings out the shimmer in this one, but I don't think that I would wear it that often. Here is a good shot where you can see the gray base. Um, I don't think I would wear it that often, so I will say no to this one. And that was the end of the polish options for Spooky September. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something that you would like. Uh, remember, we're doing Spooky in September because shipping will start in late September. So you will have all of these polishes in time for Spooky Halloween season. Um, thank you for joining me. We shall, I shall, not we, there's only one of me. I shall see you in the next video and hopefully you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.